you can see this poster here, what we did is we took several of the principles that we teach now, sooner or logical next step. We threw them onto this and it really kind of, it's, this is not all of them, but it goes through this mimics kind of a conversational flow that you would have with somebody. So I'm going to be focused on now, sooner or logical next step. It's the overarching principle, any conversation I have. With every conversation I have, you guys, everyone knows this as LP Mama. We call it the five WH, who, where, when, why, what, and how much. And these are the things that we need to know from every conversation. And then if we run into resistance, right, somebody who's not going to do what we want them to do when we want them to do it, the first principle that we follow is that we're going to make them right. And no matter what, and I should put stupid thing comes out of their mouth underneath this, right? <laughs> no matter what stupid thing comes out of their mouth, they're right because they already think they are. And, and, a, and a, a nuance to this, so everybody knows if somebody says, yeah, I'm going to sell my house myself uh, and make more money doing it. They know that they can go, oh, okay, got it. You're going to sell your house yourself and then go on asking questions. And they assume that that's all that we mean by not making them uh, wrong. But in fact, agents will do things like, oh, got it. So how exactly is selling your house on your own to a limited market going to make you more money? Did that make that lead right or wrong with yeah, my question? Wrong. Condescend. Wrong. wrong and condescending, right? So that's Ooh. something that we have to teach these agents too is, you can also make somebody wrong just in the, your tone and the way that you phrase a question. Mm -hmm. So overriding principle, do not make them wrong. Then you're going to follow the no, which is an important technique that we teach. It's similar to the now question, right? Greg says, hey, I say, Greg, are you planning on buying the next few months or are you just window shopping? Greg says, oh yeah, we're going to be buying next summer. Now, to follow the no, I would need to follow the concept of buying next summer instead of now, right? Because if I said, Greg, jump in my car today, let's go buy a house. Greg's no is going to be no, because I'm not buying now, I'm buying next summer. So my line of questioning, my conversation needs to go, needs to follow that no and ask something like, hey, Greg, what's important about buying next summer? Versus what I hear agents do. Hey, are you buying in a few months or window shopping? I'm buying next summer. Hey, fantastic. What kind of house are you looking for? That just violated both of the those principles, it violated the now principle and it violated the follow the no principle. And it's a really common one that happens. And then we teach them what, that all objections are made up of three parts, perspective, process, and outcome. And I, we go into detail about what those are and how you pull them apart so that really what you can understand, because I believe that every no, most no's is a yes to something else. It's a yes to some other time, some other person or under, or under some other conditions, right? It's a yes to something. So we're going to figure out what it's a yes to, which is find out what they're buying, right? What are you buying? You're doing it. What, what is it that you're buying? You want it a certain time. You want it with a certain person or under certain cir circumstances. What are those so that I can then sell them back to you? hopefully sweeten the deal with a little more, you know, more better, faster, cheaper, easier on top and get my appointment or get my contract or get my sale.